In this video, we're going to talk about how to take the pipe networks that we've created and add them into a profile view. We're going to do two versions of this. We're going to take a pipe network that is created and a profile that's already created and insert that pipe network into the profile. And then we're also going to take a pipe network, create a profile for that specific pipe network. So the first option that we're going to have is we're going to have a option to promote our pipe network into an existing profile network. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to navigate to our sewer information. So I've in the prospector tab, pipe networks, networks, dev sewer, and then I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to go ahead and do select the option of select. Uh, what that does is it selects all of the parts and pieces of my pipe network for my development sewer part network. So what then I'm going to do is up in the contextual ribbon bar, I'm going to go ahead and draw parts and profile. Uh, what Civil 3D is going to ask me to do is it's going to say select profile view. I'm going to select the profile view for my centerline alignment for my dev road. And I'm going to go ahead and select it. And what Civil 3D does is it takes all of the vertical information from these pipes that we looked at in the previous video, and it translates it into this profile. And so what you can see going on here is that since these structures don't lie on the center line, for most of them, they're not going to fall directly on the surface when you look at the structures. The only one that will actually fall on the surface is our first structure here because we snapped to our center line alignment right here. So if I go and I look at the profile, you're going to see, well, this structure didn't have a surface to target to out here. So it didn't target to it because we targeted to our corridor alignment or our corridor surface. So this one, you know, we would have to update the ribbon invert elevations for this one. But then moving on from here, this is targeting the corridor, but it's not at the center line. Same thing here. It's targeting the corridor, but not at the center line. That's why it's slightly below. And then when we get to the very, very end, it falls in place at the surface because we were at the center line. So moving on from here, that's a simple way of getting a pipe network into a profile that's already been created. To create a profile specifically for a pipe network, it's going to be similar. What we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go to our dev storm steward. We're going to right click and choose select again. Then what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to navigate to the option for creating an alignment. You could actually go to home tab, alignment, uh, create from networks parts, or you can go to their contextual ribbon bar alignment from network. So I'm going to go ahead and say alignment from network. It says select first connected network part. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to select my first structure. Uh, then it says select next network part. Uh, instead of selecting the pipe and then moving on to the next structure, you can also just go ahead and select the last structure in your network and it will select everything in between. So I selected the last structure and I'm going to hit enter. And so now I'm in the create alignment from pipe network. I'm going to have it on the none site. I am going to call this storm drain. I'm going to have it as a miscellaneous center line rather than a road center line or an offset or a curve return or a rail. I'm going to go ahead and have my starting station be zero. I'm going to have my alignment style be I'm going to just leave it as proposed. Then I'll go ahead and go no labels because I don't want to have any labels. I'll just have the center line in here. And then it says, I'll check this option for create profile and profile view so that when I click OK, we'll go into creating a profile and profile view for this alignment. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now I'm going to select the surfaces that I want to have on this profile for this storm drain alignment. So I'm going to go ahead and add my basin because I'm tying to my pipe to my basin at the downstream end. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and add my EG. Uh, and then I'm also going to go ahead and add in my dev core surface because I'm going to have this be a, a catch basin at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and click add for that so that we have all of this information inserted into our profile. Then I'm going to leave the sample 
stations from zero to nine plus 92.01, because that's the full length of my alignment. And then I'm gonna go ahead and select draw and profile view. Now I'm gonna navigate through the create profile view window where I'm gonna leave my alignment as the storm drain alignment. I'm gonna have the parent alignment be, or the profile name be the parent alignment, storm drain and next counter. So I'm okay with that. I'm gonna leave this as major grids in HGP, navigate to next, automatic for my station ranges, automatic for my profile view heights. I'm gonna go ahead and leave these checked because we already selected them in the previous window. I'm gonna go into here. And so now we are creating this profile view window specifically for the placement of our storm sewer network. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave this checked. If I want, if I didn't want to have it in here, I could uncheck it and it would uncheck all the information inside of my dev storm sewer. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I am going to check it and then I'm going to hit next. I'm going to have my data bands be the standard EGFG elevations and stations. There's also options for putting pipe data in. Maybe we'll go ahead and select pipe data since we are doing this profile specifically for our pipe network. So I'm going to go ahead and click next. Then we have the options for our hatch options for our profile. I'm not going to add in any hatch options. So I'm gonna go ahead and click create profile view. Once I've done that, I'm gonna be asked to select my profile view origin. I'm going to select over here so that I don't accidentally drop it over the top of these cross sections here. And as you can see, I am reading left to right along the station. So I have my road structure up here. And as I come down, I come down to my other structure right here. And so what we have going on here is I use the same structure at the top and the bottom end. What you can do if you have the wrong structure here, which we do, is you can select that structure and you can select the option of swap part. And so when I swap the part, what Civil 3D is going to do is it's going to print up all the parts that are available to me for this specific pipe network. So what I can do is I can say, I know that I want this to be a head wall and I can choose a 36 by six by 37 and click okay. And so now I've switched to a head wall here in plan view. And as I go over here into my profile view, we can see that I have changed over to a head wall in this location. Now, the only other issue that I have here is that this pipe is, it appears to be coming out below my basin. So I've now selected this pipe. I can go to pipe properties I can move this window so that I can see as this moves up. I can go down to my invert elevation. So my end invert elevation, I have it set as 168.432. So what I can go ahead and do is, I can see that it's kind of crossing this, uh, this line here. I'm gonna assume that's 170. And I'm gonna type in 170 and hit apply and I think I was correct in that assumption. I guess I could have also read this grade break station elevation 170 right here. So now I've set this to daylight at my basin right here. So I'm good here and I can hit apply and okay. Uh, and so now we've updated this profile using some of the modified tools that we learned. We've also created a new profile and we have our data bands with our pipe information down below. That's it.